Welcome to part three of this series covering the operations of the Santa Cruz Northern. In this installment, we'll take a look at some of the operations of the Crusher, the local San Jose industrial switcher. The Crusher is based out of West San Jose and works two shifts, a day shift and a swing shift, what are known as tricks in railroad terminology and would be called first trick and second trick. The main tasks of the Crusher performs the switching of the local San Jose industries, including those at WP Junction, Mack Street, West San Jose, and SP Crossing. The Crusher also assists in the assembling and breaking down of the Cementipede, as well as in the switching of the westbound and eastbound perishables. Now the Crusher can seem a bit daunting to novice operators, so to take you along on the tasks the Crusher performs, I'll employ the help of one of the old heads. Okay, Bill? Sure thing, Jim. Now during an op session, the Crusher tends to be a lot more proactive than reactive. And it depends, it tends to become more a game of how much stuff can I get into Mac Street Yard before the ma yard master has anything out going for me. But anyway, let's get to work. First, we'll check the waybills to see if we have any pull, if we have to pull any local cars at the various industries and deliver them to Mac Street. On the SCN, car forwarding is done with car cards and waybills. Some of the cars are based in part off of Tony Thompson's design of prototypically designed waybills. After checking out the waybills, we'll start by pulling the 11 a.m. cars from Del Monte in a boxcar from Beacons. Now we'll run around the cut we've just pulled and head for Mack Street.
Due to the positioning of the industries at WP Junction, the Yardmaster has placed our boxcar for the team track on the back track behind our caboose and will tack a, coveted ho a covered hopper for overshoe cement on the front of the engine. The switcher will also pull off our West San Jose cars and store them in the yard. The crusher now heads for WP Junction. Just as a side note, the trains at WP Junction are currently stored there in place of staging. Once at WP Junction, we have two cars to pick up from U.S. Cold Storage and the team track. We'll also set out our box car on the team and the covered hopper to the overshoe. With our pickups complete, we return to Mack Street. The crusher now turns its attention to setting up the westbound cement train. We'll start by pulling the coal hoppers and the caboose on the main and take them to West San Jose. From here, we'll pull the Cementipedes empties from SP Crossing and have the power track tack onto the head end and a helper in front of the coal loads.
The Cementipede now departs for San Vicente. The Crusher's next task is to pull and spot cars for the SP. We have a cut of five cars to pull and three reefers to spot. Next, we'll take what we pulled to Mack Street. From here, the Yardmaster will give us two boxcars for West San Jose, one for analytical engine and one for beacons. Since we also pulled two cars from the SP destined for beacons and carbolic smoke, smoke ball, we'll take these out with us as well. Once again, with our consist in order, we will depart for West San Jose. Upon arrival, we'll set out two boxcars at Beacons, a tank car at Carbolic Smoke Ball, and a boxcar at Analytic Engine.
With our work complete, we'll pull up alongside the club, crack open a cold one, await further orders. Now what you just saw is only a small portion of what the crusher does during the operating sessions. The truth is, it tends to vary from session to session. But that's about it for this video, so join us in point four, where we'll take a look at the tasks of the Fallon agent operator.